Hi guys, this is Murat from mgtuts.com and in this video for new beginners in Vector Aspire, I will show you how to create simple geometric figures within Aspire. All 2D drawing tools can be found at drawing toolbar at the left side of the software. In this video, I will show you how to create a simple geometric figure rectangle and based on this tutorial you will able to use several other simple geometry figures in this software because the working principle is same and you can create them just in a few clicks now let's click on the rectangle icon to activate it after activation you will see that on the left side new rectangle creation panel will appear and now I can just click on the working space and create my rectangle while I'm creating you will see that parameters of the rectangle changing and as you can see my rectangle now dashed line this is a preview of the rectangle now this rectangle in a editing mode let's check it out its creation panel here you can set origin point of the rectangle by this way you can easily control the position of the rectangle by entering coordinates. This is useful when you need to put rectangle to exact place. In the corner tab you can choose what type of corner do you want to create. By default this rectangle created with the square corners but if you like you can change it to rounded corner. Let's change it. After choosing what type of corner I want I'm just entering corner radius into this field at last you need to set the size of the rectangle by the way if you already created some rectangle and want to change its parameter then hold shift and select rectangle and you will see that parameters of the selected rectangle will be visible on creation panel here you can make changes and click on apply button to apply all changes to selected rectangle. As you can see creation process very simple. By this way you can create other simple figures like a circles, star, polygon and rectangle. Just try to use them to learn how to work with them. Well as you can see it's very simple. And that's all for this video. Try to use them yourself to understand them better. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more useful tutorials about CNC and their softwares.